Okay, I thought we'd go through one of the exercises on page 236, okay? So, um, exercise one here. We've got a train is travelling a distance of 600 kilometres, okay? The first question here is A. It says, um, how long does the train take if it travels at a speed of 100 kilometres an hour? If it travels 100 kilometers per hour, yes, it does say 100 kilometers per hour, sorry. If it travels at 100 kilometers per hour, how long will it take to travel 600 kilometers? Easy, straightforward, it will take six hours. Okay? So in the table underneath there, we can put 100 kilometers in six hours, okay? This is the speed in kilometers per hour and this is the time in, in hours. Okay? So that's straightforward, yes? I hope that's straightforward to you anyway, okay? Now then, okay. If the train travels now, if it travels at 150 kilometers per hour, how long will it take? Okay, so it travels 150 kilometers per hour, and um, we got 600 kilometers still again. So basically, all we need to do is to how many 150s are there in 600? So it's now going to take four hours, which is what you'd expect. Yes, the train goes faster, but it will go quicker in less time. Yes. Okay. So um, it then. Um, okay. It says to us next, the next question is to copy and complete the table, okay? So we've got 150 here, um, it will do it in um, 150, 600 divided by um, 150, it will do it in four hours, okay? Yeah? So then the next one, two seconds, I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so we follow the same thing through basically. Um, we do 600 divided by 120, and we get that that would be 5 hours. And we got 200, 600 divided by 200 is 3 hours, 600 divided oh, by, what the, sorry I should have put 300 there. It's okay, 300 we get 2 hours, okay? Alright, so the table is easy enough, yes? Right. It says, show that X and Y are inversely proportional. Okay, I'm, I'm not exactly sure what they're asking for here, but the straightforward is the, the X value here, this is the Y value here, as the X value goes up, the Y value goes down. And that's one of the, um, the factors, if you like, one of the... Um, the necessary things for something to be inversely proportional. Okay, so I'll say here, this is C, we've got D as X increases, Y decreases. So therefore it's um, uh, inversely proportional. Okay, right. Um, it then says uh, in E, we need to write down a formula for X and Y. Okay, now remember what I said on the, on the first video, we've got here, we've got Y equals um, something over X. That's our first starting point for any inverse um, algebraic equation. Okay? So we've got y equals something over x. Let's put the values in and see if we can find out k. Okay? So we've got speed here, we've got 6 equals um, k over 100. Alright? So if we multiply these out, in this case we've got um, we, we times by 100 on this side and we have to times by 100 on this side. So here we've got k equals um, 600. 
right? So, put that back into our equations now. So, the equation for this inverse proportion is y equals 600 divided by x. Right? And we can work, we can check that out here, okay? Um, if we have, well, the easiest one to do it is um, y, y equals 600 divided by x. So here our x value is 300. So 600 divided by 300 equals 2. All right? So that's our equation then. It says draw the draw these now, draw these points on an x-axis. It gives you the picture in the book there. And you should end up with a nice smooth curve. Okay? Um, if I can find something to do programs on the computer to do curves on a graph, then I'll do it for you, okay? Um, I'll try, maybe I'll try and copy the page and try and do it for you now that the electricity's come back. Alright? But I hope that gives you an idea how to, how to do question number one. You can carry on with the other ones now and see what happens, okay? Thank you.